Hi everyone, Kristen Hudson, Marketing Director with the Columbus Symphony Orchestra here, and we are absolutely thrilled to be able to announce to all of you the Columbus Symphony Orchestra's 2021 spring season. After many months of planning and careful consideration, we've put together an incredible five concert season uh, from March to the end of May that we think you guys are going to absolutely enjoy. So let's start off first by taking a look at the concerts that we have coming up this season. Our first concert will take place on Saturday, March 13th, 2021 at 7.30 p.m. in the Bill Hurd Theater within the River Center for the Performing Arts. It is called Breathtaking Baroque. And in the words of Maestro George Delgobo, Baroque music never fails to clear our minds and simplify our emotions. So we're excited to offer this concert of int an intimate evening of Baroque music by famous composers Bach, Handel, Vivaldi, Pachelbel, as well as others. Our second concert will take place on Saturday, March 27th, 2021, again at 7.30 p.m. in Bill Hurd Theater. We'll feature pianist Henry Kramer from the Columbus State University Schwab School of Music in our concert, Henry Kramer and Beethoven. Kramer will be featured on Robert Schumann's Piano Concerto in A minor, followed by Beethoven's masterpiece, his Seventh Symphony in A major. Our third concert is titled Exquisitely English and will be on Saturday, April 10th, again at 7.30 p.m. in Bill Hurd Theater. This concert will be filled with music of England, very lyrical pieces with beautiful melodies, and if it's singable tunes that you want, you'll love this concert filled with the music of Elgar, Vaughn Williams, and Holst. On April 24th at 7.30 p.m. in Bill Hurd Theater, join us for Musique Française, where CSO musicians Boris Abramov and Sarah Park Chastain are featured in a performance of Mozart's elegant and effervescent Symphonia Concertante for violin and viola. The work will be framed with, comp with compositions by two great French masterpieces, one by Ravel and the other by Poulenc. We round out our season on May 22nd, 2021, with a performance of Appalachian Spring and Wendy Warner. CSU Schwab School of Music faculty cellist Wendy Warner will be joining us for a performance of Variations on a Rococo Theme by Tchaikovsky. Also, we will be performing Aaron Copeland's Appalachian Spring, as well as Haydn's famous Symphony No. 104. The safety precautions in place for all in-person attending are as follows. Face masks are a requirement for everyone who enters the River Center for the Performing Arts, and all guests will need to have masks on properly prior to entering the building and will be asked to wear them through the entirety of their visit and during the concert. When worn properly, of course, the mask should be covering both your mouth and your nose. Guests will be asked to maintain a safe social distance of at least six feet within the River Center for the Performing Arts when working with or encountering personnel, visitors, and of course other patrons and musicians. All guests will be seated in socially distanced parties within the hall. Season ticket holders will have pre-assigned seats, while single ticket holders this year will be sat general admission on a first-come, first-served basis. Single ticket holders will also have staggered entry times into the venue to avoid large numbers. Temperature checks have been instituted for everyone who enters the building. We ask everyone who feels sick or is experiencing any of the following symptoms, such as fever, cough, shortness of breath, or other respiratory symptoms, to please refrain from attending the concert. Concerts this season have been slightly shortened in length and will be performed without intermission in order to minimize contact between our guests. There are designated lobby restrooms for use within the River Center. However, all water fountains have been disabled until further notice and concessions will not be sold. Now, due to social distancing within the hall, 
seating will be limited. And because of this, our regularly assigned seats for season ticket holders will not be recognized this year. All season ticket holders will be reassigned seats on a first come first serve basis upon receiving your season ticket order forms just for this year. This does not mean you will lose those assigned seats from previous seasons. Also, if you're not able to attend this season due to COVID-19 or wanting to attend uh, with a digital broadcast pass, you will not lose those seats. We will return to those original assigned seats in future seasons when it is safe to do so. Lastly, I want to talk about our digital broadcast pass, which is new to us this season, which allows you to watch the CSO concerts from the safety of your own home. If you would like to purchase a digital broadcast pass, simply do so with a season ticket order form if you're wanting to purchase the entire season or when single tickets go available on February 8th, 2021. You can purchase passes to individual concerts as well. You will receive the link and the password to access the video as well as any instructions you may need and you can watch the video again from the safety of your own home. We are really excited to be able to offer this this year uh, amid the pandemic and hope that uh, those who may not be in the area or who don't feel comfortable attending in person can take advantage of this new opportunity. The concerts will air approximately one to two weeks after the live event. We will give you those dates in advance, of course, and uh, once they go live, they will be available to view for 72 hours online. And that is it. We are so excited for this season, starting on March 13th and ending on May 22nd. We hope you all are as excited as we are. And if you have any questions or concerns, never hesitate to reach out to us here at the CSO, either via email. You can email me at marketing at csoga.org or call our main line 706-323-5059. Five, nine. We're so excited to be able to offer live music again within our Columbus community, and uh, we hope to see you either in person or via our digital broadcast pass. Thank you so much, you guys, and we look forward to seeing you soon.